How to be free of Runanubandhas? A Runanubandha is an enmity of a past birth and you might be undergoing this in your life. Watch this video to the end. If the symptoms fit, do the exact Kriya that I'm telling you and you'll be free of it forever and you will stop leaking energy and you'll start understanding who you really are. Lots of things will happen with this one video. So watch it to the end. What is a Runanubandha? Like I said, it's the enmity of a previous birth. But how, do you, how does it play out in this birth? So one person gets into a calculative relationship with another person. And it can be vice versa as well. Both can be calculative as well. Okay? But here's how the mechanism works. When you're very calculative, then you're calculating the risks and the rewards of being in this relationship. And you're saying that the rewards are more than the risks. And then you take the risk. But there is the risk. Since this relationship is not honestly based on these selfish gains that you want and not a growing together as any relationship should be, you just want to exploit. Okay? It may be completely unconscious. You may not be aware of it. So what happens here is that you are scared to be discovered for the shallowness with which you enter the relationship. So then what you do is that you find fault in the other person and then you find some hole in their character and then you blow it out of proportion and then you start threatening them with it. Because every time you feel threatened that you'll be found out for your lack of sincerity in this relationship, even though you're getting the advantage from that relationship, there's a price to pay for it. But the price to pay is to say the truth, be genuine, and re-engage on new terms. But this is not happening. So people are trying on playing cover-up. They start creating fights. They start creating conflicts. So if that sounds like you, fights and conflicts and no truth in the relationship, then this technique is for you. Okay? All right. The Mula Dhara Chakra, Mula Dhara Chakra, is the mool and the Aadhar for everything. It's the root and the basis of all your energy. And this is where people leak energy. It's located below your spine, on your pelvic floor. So your tailbone ends and the Muladhar Chakra begins. Okay? And it goes all the way till the anus and that's the Muladhar Chakra. Okay? But its energy can be very huge. It can be kilometers big. It has four petals and it's it's kilometers big. It can be, but it's not. For most people, it's about this big. Simply because they're leaking energy all the time. They're running on the bare minimum energy that they need to stay alive. They don't have energy to have ambition. They don't have energy to be creative. They don't have energy to be playful. They don't have any power. So this is most people. It's because of your relationships. And today I'm going to teach you the technique. Okay. Think of a stone, okay? but don't think of it. I want you to dream of it. Go into your muladhar. I want you to really feel everything there and the current state of energy in which it is. And you'll find that there are stones. Every stone over there, every hard energy is a runanuban. Okay? Feels like a stone, looks like a stone, but it's actually just energy. The same stone will be in the other person with whom you have a relationship. Whatever this relationship may be. Parent, child, lovers, whatever. Okay? Any relationship. Employee, employer, whatever. The one, the people you're having the most fights with will have the same stone in their muladhar also. Okay? So I want you to put one hand. First ask Devi because Devi resides in your muladhar as Swaha the fire okay so you're going to ask swaha devi and you ask her can you please give me the power to see my muladhar and receive her blessings in your hand that will go straight to your muladhar feel it energetically going to your muladhar and then you'll be able to see it you'll be able to feel it You'll be able to perceive it as in a dream-like state, you can perceive it. So get into a dream-like state, perceive it. Now dream up the other person in front of you. 
put your left hand here, put your right hand on their forehead and then you say the mantra Runam Bhasmam Swaha that means Swaha Devi will burn the Runam which is this stone she will burn it and turn it to ashes Bhasmam okay Runam Bhasmam Swaha you say it twice Runam Bhasmam Swaha and the whole thing burns to ashes in seconds you will feel a great relief and then you ask Devi Devi please give me the power to re-engage and re-invite in this relationship on honest terms. Can I please have a fresh start? Give me the power to do that and you'll see your power coming back in any relationship. This is all you need to do. You don't have to pay for expensive relationship counseling and any other kind of interventions which do not go to the root cause in the Muladhar Chakra. My Guru has asked me to teach this, that's why I'm teaching it. It's a very secret technique, nobody knows it. Okay? And it is called Runanubandha Kriya. Nobody knows this. Okay? So you please practice it. I've given it out now. I want whoever watches this video to practice it and share it even with the person with whom you are in a relationship so that you both can do it properly okay get a fresh start in every relationship and may Devi bless you and follow for more yogic content <laughs>